the next party secretary, Xi Jinping. His family, like Boris, had been at the very centre of the frightening forces that Mao Zedong had unleashed. One journalist wrote, They want to keep that great black box that conceals the struggles and the brutality upon which China has built its staggering economic transformation firmly closed. And to keep it closed, Xi Jinping decided to turn China into a giant system in which everyone's behaviour could be predicted, managed and controlled. The aim was to learn from the data how all the individuals linked together in the society so their behaviour could be predicted, like components in a system. But there was a further aim to adjust the behaviour of people so they would fit better into the system. It was called algorithmic governance. And if the data from all the different sources showed a person behaving well, buying the right food for their children, not cheating at computer games, and not jaywalking, then they would be given what were called social credits. This would then give them rewards, from discounts on bills to getting better visibility on dating sites, even avoiding the queue to pay to see a doctor. Fifty years before, an American psychologist called B.F. Skinner had become notorious when he had outlined just such a society. Skinner had shown how he could easily alter the behaviour of animals, like pigeons, by using a simple system of rewards. He called it operant conditioning. In this experiment, he must peck at the cross ten times before the food is forthcoming. After four or five sessions, the pigeon learns the routine perfectly and pecks at the cross wherever he sees it without being in the least upset at being made to work for his living. Now that produces in a rat or a pigeon or a monkey or, and in a man, a very high rate of activity. And if you build up, you can get enormous amounts of behavior out of these organisms for very little pay. You don't need to give them very much to induce a lot of that. Now, a world in which a great many productive things occur on this schedule would be a wonderful world. Skinner wrote a novel called Walden Two that described a future utopia where all human behavior would be controlled through this kind of operant conditioning. It was a utopia, he said, because it would free society from all the dangerous and irrational impulses inside individuals' minds. All of that could be sealed off by managing people's behavior with rewards and treats. Now, China had found a way of creating just such a system of managing people through the mass of data it was gathering. It was being used to create a whole society where what went on inside people's heads was completely irrelevant. Their rational thought and their feelings were all bypassed. It was only their observed behaviour that counted. And this allowed those in charge to bury and hide the anger and frustration that had been created in a society that was riddled with corruption and growing inequalities. And if people didn't respond to the treats, they could be forcibly reprogrammed. As it is alleged is happening in large re-education facilities in Xinjiang to hundreds of thousands of the Muslim Uyghur population.
Thank you.